Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Toys R Us exclusive Marvel Legend 12-inch Uncanny X-Force Deadpool. Let's go. And here's the Toys R Us exclusive 12 inch X-Force Deadpool out of the packaging and I gotta say I'm pretty impressed by this figure. I like that it's slender. I like that it has a slender uh, body compared to the rest of the 12 inch figures. Uh, I think it's an appropriate look for Deadpool. Um, I don't have the red Deadpool or the um, GameStop exclusive red and black Deadpool. I believe the pouches are different. I think this is a different part and the top part is different from the original. Um, if you know, can you let me know? Um, but I really do like this design, I like the gray, I like, uh, I really like the way this came out, so let's go ahead and look at his accessories, then we'll take a look at the figure itself. Um, so first off, he comes with his two katanas, that look really good. Um, I like that they have that detail at the end of it, you know, they have more of a shape to it, and the handles have that wrap on it, that's really cool to me. Uh, so of course he comes with two of those that fit perfectly in his back. Next up, he comes with his knife that uh, fits in the pouch on his belt and I like the look of it, it's real simple uh, it has the teeth on the back of it and the handle looks real nice um, next he came with a left and right <coughs> closed fist and a left and right uh, open hand for the swords or the guns and then he came with a thumbs up right hand that's really cool next he came with two guns this is his handgun the detail on it is really nice I really like the gray and the black wash the, the silver wash looks really good on there. They, they took their time to put that detail in there, so I appreciate it. Thanks, Hasbro. This gun looks really nice. Um, I actually think this would look pretty cool on uh, Cable if, uh, if it scales right with him. Once I get that X-Force Cable, I'll check it out. But this one looks really cool. Next, we have our regular X-Force head that has the red eyes with the black silhouette and then gray. And that looks really good. I like the detail on the forehead and all that. Then we have our messed up Deadpool head. That looks really good. Where he's happy underneath and has his cancerous face there. <laughs> but I like that it has the hole right there. I like that, you know, he's still got his eye there. And you can tell that he's smiling. His cheek's a little raised right there. Another tear in the back. And then you have his little flop right there. So let's go ahead and dive into the figure. See what he's all about. <coughs> Checking out the katanas, they fit perfectly in the back. I guess that's as far as down as far down as they go. Yeah, this little hinge right here stops it. If you can see in the line that it stops right there. And they don't go any further than that. And down here, little blade fits perfectly in the back right there. And that does not close. And one other thing is, this gun does come out, but I don't see how unless you pull down and bring it out. But this uh, handgun does come out, and this can move around. And so here is cool. the 12-inch Deadpool with all of his gear on. Um, now, I really like this figure. Um, the the uh, the swords look really good on his back. Um, one thing that made me happy and I was worried about was the hands were going to be really hard plastic, and it was going to be hard to get those guns in his hands, but it was actually really easy. Uh, they're kind of like a soft plastic, so it's really easy to bend his hand back and then get the get the guns in there. So that that worked out really uh, really good, and I'm happy with that. 
Uh, one thing is, be careful when you're swapping out the hands, because these black straps are loose and they just fall right off when you take the hand out. So that was really cool. Um, I really like the, the costume. The design is really cool. I like that it has the folds in his chest right there, so you can tell his cloth again there in his abs. And then you can see it on his arms as well, then going down to his pants, you can see it. You know that it's a cloth material and there's folds in it. And I really like I really like that they took the time to do that little detail. So zooming in on Deadpool's head, I really like the way the deco came out on the X-Force Deadpool. Uh, the gray and the blacks complement each other, the red really pops on this figure. Um, <clears throat> the way that the katanas don't go all the way down and they stick up like that looks perfect. If you can look right there, it's it just looks really, really good in my opinion. And then going down the deco on this figure looks really great. They really did a clean job with this figure. Uh, the X in his belt looks really good. The dry brushing, everything looks great. Yeah, so aesthetically this figure is awesome. I'm really happy with this figure. Let's go ahead and go over his articulation. Alright, so Deadpool's articulation is pretty good. Uh, he can look left and right really well. And he does have a neck hinge, so he can look up really well. And he can look down really well. And he comes with butterfly, butterfly joints. So that's really cool. And something you really need on a Deadpool figure. I like that this is adjustable and it could be moved around. The arms can 360. Can go up about that much. Upper arm swivel. Double jointed elbow. And these, are, these hands do have hinges so it could go up and down. Next we have upper torso. You always want to be careful with that one because I have broken that torso before. Okay, There's no swivel there but we do have a crunch. An ab crunch that does really, really good. Okay. Then you have upper thigh swivel. Double joint and knee. Swivel there. Hinge there. And pivot. So solid articulation on this figure. And for a size comparison, here he is next to the Target exclusive Symbiote Spider-Man. And they look to be about the same size. They don't look like they're the same buck, but um, they're in the same size. They're not the same buck. I can see the folds in the uh, the abs and stuff are different. So that's pretty cool. And then on the left, we have the cap the 12 inch Captain America. And Cap's a lot buffer than them, and I think it looks appropriate. He has broader shoulders and a bigger chest, and I think it looks really good. So they look really well really well and for another size comparison here he is next to the six inch Mezco Deadpool figure and he's a lot taller than him so uh, if you were curious how they look next to each other there you go and the 12 inch Wolverine figure next to Deadpool now I really like the way they look next to each other I like that Deadpool's skinny and slender and he's taller than Wolverine and Wolverine's short and buff so these two look really really cool next to each other uh, now I really see um, Hasbro putting out an X-Force Wolverine, so I'm anticipating that figure being released. I would do a repaint on this one, but I know they're going to release that figure, so I'm looking forward to that coming out. And here's Deadpool with his alternate head on, if you wanted to know what it looked like. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool, but I think the rest of the costume should be just as destroyed as the head, if they're going to put that out. You know what I mean? Like, his arms and his chest and his legs should be all scrapped up, but whatever. It's a pretty cool head, looks good on there, um, I really like the way that looks, I won't be displaying him with that head on there, but whatever, looks pretty cool to me, what do you guys think? Alright, so, finishing up this shot right here, with Deadpool, um, decided to put it in front of my TV. Uh, the background, the foam board I have wasn't working out, so I just kind of thought about putting him in an explosion, kind of having him jump back like that. So this was the shot I came up with. Hope you guys like it. Um, that's going to be it for this review. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe, leave a like, and please leave a comment. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.